Take a moment and look at the back of a dollar bill. Focus your attention on the pyramid. Above it, seemingly watching, is an eye. This is the eye of providence, captivating conspiracy theorists for centuries. What is its true meaning? Why is it there, silently observing us from the currency we use every day? Some dismiss it as a symbol of divine providence, a watchful eye over the newly formed nation. Others believe it represents something far more profound. Could it be a clue to a secret society known as the Illuminati? Join us as we delve into the shadowy world of the Illuminati, where truth and fiction blur. The Illuminati. The name conjures images of shadowy figures meeting in secret, pulling the strings of governments and shaping world events. Some believe the Illuminati are a cabal of the world's elite, a secret society of bankers, politicians, and celebrities working together to establish a new world order. They are said to control the media, manipulate financial markets, and even orchestrate wars to further their own agenda. Whatever their true purpose, one thing is certain. The Illuminati have captured the imaginations of millions around the world. Throughout history, there have always been whispers of secret societies, groups operating in the shadows. The Illuminati are perhaps the most famous of these groups. Their origins can be traced back to 18th century Bavaria, but their influence is said to extend far beyond those humble beginnings. We will explore the origins of the Illuminati, their rise to prominence, and their alleged influence on everything from the French Revolution to the assassination of JFK. Prepare to question everything you thought you knew. The Illuminati thrive on secrecy. It is their shield, their weapon, and their most powerful tool. For how can you fight what you cannot see? How can you expose an enemy that operates in the shadows? This lack of concrete evidence is both their greatest strength and their most potent defense. The lack of transparency fuels suspicion, breeding distrust in traditional sources of information. The internet is awash with tales of the Illuminati's exploits. From the assassination of JFK to the faked moon landing, the Illuminati are often credited for shaping the events that define our world. These theories paint a picture of a world where nothing is as it seems, where every event is part of a larger, preordained plan. The sheer volume and detail of these claims lend them a certain air of plausibility. The problem, of course, is separating fact from fiction. The enduring fascination with the Illuminati speaks to a deeper truth about human nature, our innate desire to make sense of the world around us. In a world often chaotic and unpredictable, the idea of a hidden hand guiding events can be strangely comforting. For some, the Illuminati represent a tangible enemy, a focal point for their anxieties about the future. The Illuminati, with their supposed wealth, power, and reach, make for an easy target. Whether or not they actually exist becomes almost irrelevant. The central question that hangs over the entire Illuminati phenomenon is this. If they do exist, and if they wield the power that is attributed to them, what does that mean for us? Are we simply pawns in their game, our lives and destinies preordained by their grand design? The idea that the world is not as it seems, that we are being manipulated by forces beyond our control, is a powerful one. The world is a messy, chaotic place shaped by countless individuals and events, each with their own motivations and consequences. However, the enduring appeal of the Illuminati myth reminds us that the desire for control and understanding is a powerful human trait. Seeds of Enlightenment, the birth of a movement. Our journey begins in the vibrant intellectual landscape of 18th century Europe. The Enlightenment was in full swing, a period of unprecedented intellectual and philosophical ferment. Amidst this turmoil, a young professor of law named Adam Weishaupt had a vision. Disillusioned with the powerful influence of the church and the rigidity of traditional institutions, Weishaupt longed for a more enlightened society. On May 1, 1776, Weishaupt founded the Order of the Illuminati. 
a secret society dedicated to promoting these enlightenment ideals. Their aim was not to seize power, but to cultivate it within individuals, to create a network of enlightened thinkers. Recruitment was initially limited to Weishaupt's inner circle, but the allure of forbidden knowledge proved irresistible. A secret order is born, from Bavarian coffee houses to the world stage. The early meetings of the Illuminati took place in the back rooms of Bavarian coffee houses. Secrecy was paramount, not because of any sinister motives, but because their ideas were considered radical and subversive for the time. To protect themselves and their members, they adopted elaborate rituals, code names, and a strict hierarchical structure. Word of this secret society, dedicated to knowledge and enlightenment spread quickly. Soon the Illuminati attracted a diverse group of intellectuals, artists, and influential figures from across Europe. The long shadow of conspiracy, the French Revolution, and the rise of suspicion. As the Illuminati grew in size and influence, so too did the suspicion surrounding their activities. The French Revolution of 1789 proved to be a turning point. Conservative forces, fearful of similar uprisings in their own countries, pointed to the Illuminati as the architects of this chaos. The Illuminati, once a beacon of enlightenment, found themselves transformed into a symbol of fear and paranoia. Section 4. Suppression and Survival did the Illuminati truly disappear? Facing mounting pressure from both church and state, the Bavarian government moved to suppress the Illuminati. In 1785, they issued an edict outlawing all secret societies, including Weishaupt's order. The crackdown effectively drove the Illuminati underground. While some argue that the order was completely destroyed, others believe that it simply went deeper into hiding. The lack of definitive proof regarding the order's demise has only fueled speculation, adding to the mystery and intrigue that surrounds them to this day. Section 5. The Modern Mythos, Pop Culture's Obsession with the Illuminati In the 20th and 21st centuries, the Illuminati experienced a resurgence not as a historical organization, but as a cultural phenomenon. From books and movies to music and video games, the Illuminati are everywhere, their symbols and influence woven into the very fabric of our entertainment. This modern incarnation of the Illuminati bears little resemblance to the historical organization of the 18th century. In an age of globalization and increasing inequality, it is perhaps unsurprising that people seek explanations, even if those explanations involve shadowy organizations and grand conspiracies. Decoding the language of secrets. Since the dawn of time, humanity has been drawn to symbols. They convey complex ideas and emotions in a single, potent image. Symbols hold immense power to inspire, unite, and instill fear. Secret societies use symbols to communicate and shroud their activities in mystery. The Illuminati's symbols are as recognizable as they are controversial. The Eye of Providence, the Pyramid, the Number 13, the Obelisk, these symbols are linked to the Illuminati in popular imagination, but what do they really mean? The All-Seeing Eye, a watchful guardian or a sinister symbol of control. The Eye of Providence, a single eye on a pyramid, is iconic. Its presence on the US dollar bill has fueled conspiracy theories. The Eye of Providence predates the Illuminati in the United States. It traces back to ancient Egypt as the Eye of Horus. Later it was adopted by Christianity as the all-seeing eye of God. How did it become associated with the Illuminati? Some say the Illuminati adopted it as a symbol of enlightenment. Others see it as a symbol of control and surveillance. Section 3. Pyramids and the Promise of Power, Unveiling the Secrets of Ancient Structures. The pyramid, another powerful symbol often linked to the Illuminati, evokes a sense of mystery and awe. These monumental structures built by ancient civilizations across the globe have long captivated our imaginations, inspiring wonder about the ingenuity and technological prowess of their creators. 
The sheer scale and grandeur of the pyramids, their enduring presence on the landscape, speak to a power that transcends time. For conspiracy theorists, the pyramids are not simply impressive feats of engineering but rather repositories of ancient knowledge, hidden chambers containing secrets that could unlock the mysteries of the universe. They point to the precise alignment of the pyramids with celestial bodies, the enigmatic inscriptions found within their chambers, and the mathematical precision of their construction as evidence that the ancient Egyptians, and perhaps other lost civilizations, possessed knowledge far beyond our own. The Illuminati, according to these theories, are the inheritors of this ancient wisdom, privy to secrets passed down through generations, carefully guarded from the uninitiated. The pyramid, in this context, becomes a symbol of their hidden power, their connection to a lineage of knowledge that predates modern civilization. It represents their ambition to understand and ultimately control the forces that shape our world. Are the Illuminati sending us messages through popular culture? They communicate through coded messages hidden in plain sight. Illuminati symbolism is prevalent in music videos, movies, and advertising. From pyramids and all-seeing eyes to specific numbers and hand gestures, evidence of the Illuminati's influence is everywhere. Music is often cited as a primary vehicle for Illuminati messaging. Music videos are seen as rife with hidden meanings. Mainstream artists are accused of being Illuminati puppets. Their lyrics and performances promote a specific agenda. Whether these symbols are intentional or not is debated. Critics argue it's confirmation bias. People interpret information to confirm their beliefs. The influence of media and popular culture makes it difficult to dismiss this phenomenon. Section 5. A Tapestry of Symbols. When Belief Shapes Reality. The power of symbols lies not only in their inherent meaning but also in the meanings we ascribe to them. The Illuminati as a concept have become a blank canvas upon which we project our fears, anxieties and desires for simple explanations in a complex world. Their symbols, often drawn from ancient traditions and imbued with layers of meaning, take on a life of their own. Their interpretations, shaped by individual beliefs and cultural contexts, whether one sees the eye of providence as a benevolent guardian or a sinister symbol of control, the pyramid as a testament to human ingenuity, or a repository of forbidden knowledge, ultimately depends on their own worldview. The true power of the Illuminati myth may lie not in the organization itself, but in its ability to tap into our collective subconscious, to give form to our deepest fears and aspirations. The symbols remain open to interpretation, fueling speculation and debate. They serve as a constant reminder that the line between belief and reality is often blurred, and that the stories we tell ourselves about the world can be just as powerful as the world itself. Section 1. The Enduring Allure of Conspiracy. Why do we seek answers in the shadows? We've journeyed through the annals of history, explored the shadowy world of secret societies, and attempted to decode the enigmatic symbols attributed to the Illuminati. From their 18th century origins to their modern-day resurgence in popular culture, the Illuminati have captivated our imaginations, fueled countless conspiracy theories, and sparked endless debates about the nature of power, control, and the forces that shape our world. But what is it about the Illuminati in particular that continues to fascinate us? Why do we find ourselves drawn to the idea of a hidden hand guiding events, of a select few wielding power from the shadows? Perhaps it's our innate desire to make sense of a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. In the face of complexity and uncertainty, the idea of a single identifiable enemy, a puppet master pulling the strings, can be strangely comforting. Or perhaps it's our suspicion of authority, our deep-seated mistrust of those in positions of power. In an age of globalization where institutions seem increasingly distant and unaccountable, it's tempting to believe that true power lies not in the hands of elected officials or corporate CEOs, but in the hands of a secretive elite operating outside the bounds of traditional systems of control. Section 2. Fact, Fiction, and the Power of Belief. The Illuminati as a reflection of our times. 
The line between fact and fiction when it comes to the Illuminati is often blurred beyond recognition. Historical evidence of the organization's existence is scant, and their supposed influence on major world events is largely based on conjecture and speculation. Yet, the power of the Illuminati myth persists, fueled by a potent mix of genuine historical intrigue, the human proclivity for pattern recognition, and the allure of the unknown. The Illuminati, in a sense, have become a Rorschach test, a blank slate upon which we project our own fears, anxieties, and desires. For some, they represent the ultimate embodiment of evil, a cabal of power-hungry elites determined to enslave humanity. For others, they are a symbol of enlightenment, a secret society dedicated to knowledge, reason, and progress. The truth, as is often the case, probably lies somewhere in between. Whether or not the Illuminati, as they are commonly portrayed, actually exist, is ultimately beside the point. The enduring power of the myth lies in its ability to tap into something fundamental about the human condition, our need to believe in something larger than ourselves, our desire to find meaning and order in a world that often seems devoid of both. Section 3. The search continues. Unraveling the truth, one question at a time. So, where do we go from here? Do we dismiss the Illuminati as nothing more than a harmless conspiracy theory, a product of overactive imaginations, and a culture obsessed with the occult? Or do we delve deeper, peeling back the layers of myth and misinformation, in search of a hidden truth that may forever elude us? The answer, as with most things in life, is not so simple. To dismiss the Illuminati out of hand is to ignore the very real anxieties and mistrust that fuel such beliefs. To accept them at face value, however, is to abandon critical thinking and embrace a worldview based on speculation and conjecture. Perhaps the most valuable lesson to be learned from the enduring fascination with the Illuminati is the importance of critical thinking, of questioning everything we see and hear, and of being wary of those who claim to have all the answers. The truth, as they say, is out there, but finding it requires a healthy dose of skepticism, a willingness to challenge our own assumptions, and an unyielding commitment to the pursuit of knowledge. Section 1. The conversation continues. Share your insights, join the debate. We've explored the enigmatic world of the Illuminati, delved into their history, decoded their symbols, and grappled with the enduring allure of conspiracy. But the conversation doesn't end here. What are your thoughts on the Illuminati? Do you believe they are a real and present danger, pulling the strings of global events from the shadows? Or do you see them as a product of our collective imagination, a modern-day myth that reflects our deepest fears and anxieties? We want to hear from you. Share your insights, theories and perspectives in the comments section below. Engage in respectful dialogue with fellow truth seekers, challenge each other's assumptions, and let's see if we can shed some light on this enduring mystery together. Remember, the search for truth is not a solitary pursuit. It's a collaborative effort, fueled by curiosity, open-mindedness, and a willingness to consider different points of view. So, let's keep the conversation going. Your voice matters. Your perspective is valuable. Join the debate and become part of the ongoing quest to unravel the mysteries of the Illuminati. Section 2. Unveiling More Mysteries. Subscribe to our channel for exclusive content. The journey into the heart of conspiracy doesn't end here. Our channel is dedicated to exploring the unexplained, delving into the mysteries that have captivated humanity for centuries and challenging conventional narratives, from secret societies and ancient civilizations to unexplained phenomena and the frontiers of science, we're committed to bringing you thought-provoking content that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Subscribe to our channel now and join our community of truth seekers. By subscribing, you'll gain access to exclusive content, including in-depth documentaries, interviews with leading experts, and behind-the-scenes footage that you won't find anywhere else. Don't miss out on our upcoming episodes where we'll be exploring topics such as the Knights Templar Guardians of the Holy Grail or a powerful secret society with a hidden agenda, the lost city of Atlantis fact, fiction, or a warning from our ancient past, the UFO phenomenon. Are we alone in the universe or have we been visited by beings from other worlds? Subscribe now and embark on a journey of discovery that will challenge your perceptions and expand your understanding of the world around us.
Section 3. The Search for Truth. It's a journey we take together. The quest to uncover the truth about the Illuminati, and indeed about all the mysteries that captivate our imaginations, is an ongoing journey. It's a journey that requires us to be both skeptical and open-minded, to question everything while remaining open to the possibility that the world is far stranger and more wondrous than we could ever imagine. As we conclude our exploration of the Illuminati, let us remember that the search for truth is not about finding definitive answers, but about asking the right questions. It's about embracing the unknown, challenging our assumptions, and being willing to revise our beliefs in the face of new evidence. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the heart of conspiracy. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep the spirit of curiosity alive. The truth, as always, is out there, waiting to be discovered.